Ow. <sighs> What's going on everybody? I hope you all are having a great day, night, whatever time you're watching this. In my last video, you guys saw me get my helmet set up all reworked and good to go. So today we're gonna go ahead and take out the Grom and go for a ride. This thing's actually looking pretty clean, which if you know my channel and you know me, that's pretty surprising. I definitely need to get rid of that stock mirror and get some bar end mirrors for this thing. That would make it look a lot better. I don't really have a destination today, so we're kind of just going to go exploring and see what we can find. But enough talking, let's go ahead and switch over to the GoPro and go for a ride. I can tell already it's going to be a good day today. Don't even have to bump start the bike. I've had my heated grips running for a little bit, so they're nice and warm. Mind you, it's like 35 degrees, so this is straight up dedication, guys. But that's not going to stop us from having a good time. I'm really excited going this ride. Oh man, it is freezing guys. I didn't think it'd be this cold, but once you get going fast enough, it's just like unbearable. So I had to pull over and cut through this neighborhood to a road with a uh, lower speed limit. Man, I thought something felt weird. My bars are loose in the clamps guys. So I looked back there and I was like, this doesn't look right. They were way too close to my body. So I just went ahead and gave it the old beating on and uh, I got it back into place. But every time I bet that I come off a wheelie, it's just gonna go back to like it was. So hopefully um, we'll make it through the ride, but we're definitely gonna have to tighten those up here soon. Well guys, I think I found another sweet off-roading spot, but it's just a matter of getting to it. Hopefully one of these streets takes us over there. Oh, I think we're getting warmer. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This one's a lot more private too. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to go check this out. Oh, I forgot, it's gonna be a muddy mess. Yeah, I don't know about that. Ah, uh, screw it. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Oh, crap. Well, guys, we just got stuck. Oh, man. Oh, look at that mud. Oh guys, this isn't good. This is like the muddiest mud of muds. Come on. Guys, I'm legitimately stuck right now. Oh. oh, this is no good. I gotta get out of here before I get cold on. My front tire has so much mud in it that it's not spinning. Uh, I'm getting worried here, guys. Oh, this sucks. I literally have so much mud <laughs> caked in my front tire that it won't spin.
Oh guys. Oh. Ow. I'm falling and I can't get up. Oh. 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 That hurts so bad. Oh, I just slammed my knee into the ground. I was just hammering it trying to get out of here and I lost traction. Obviously. Oh, my knee. Oh, this sucks, guys. I'm kind of hurt. I'm going to at least try to get moved out of here. Come on. Oh. Well, that was stupid, guys. Look at my boots, guys. I almost thought about wearing tennis shoes, too, so I'm glad I didn't. Oh, I hit my knee so hard on that gravel. That's that kind of mud that just sucks anything and everything into it. Oh, guys. I gotta catch my breath. I'll let you know what happens here in a bit. Well guys, it's been about five minutes. I still haven't caught my breath yet. It's flooded, but I can't even try to push start it because there's so much mud caked underneath the fender that it won't roll. So I'm kind of just waiting here until it gets back to normal. Oh. Maybe I'll do a few wheelies down this street right here and I'll get the mud out from underneath my fender in the front. Definitely not safe riding the way it is. Oh, guys, that was so stupid. I just didn't think about how muddy it still was. That was like some clay. I even bent my brake lever a little bit. Uh, that's all right. Oh, guys, I'm in pain. That did it. I might have got called on too because I saw a few people looking at me like what the heck I was doing. I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here guys. I got to be careful though because I got so much mud kicked on my tire. That's definitely going to hurt tomorrow. I still have some adrenaline going so I haven't even felt the pain yet. A few moments later. It took me like three times as long to get home, but I'm almost there. I'm like stuck at 35 miles an hour in a 55. I'm gonna let this guy pass. I don't know guys, this isn't looking good for the Grom. I was going like two miles an hour though when I crashed, so it can't be anything too bad. Ah, oh, man. I banged my knee up pretty good. My kneecap literally went like straight into rocks. I'm going to be feeling that tomorrow for sure. Well, I still have the extra adrenaline though, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean everything up and see what's wrong. Well guys, that ride didn't go as expected. We made it back home. But look how thick that mud was. I really think it's just so caked in there that it's hitting my tire. So hopefully once I get the pressure washer in there, it'll knock some of that stuff out because I think it's just all wedged in there underneath the fender and that's what was stopping me up. I was literally trying to wheelie just so I could get out of that mud. But I brought the power washer up here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all washed up before it gets dark and then I'll let you guys know what happened.
Well guys, I finally got this thing all cleaned up. You wouldn't believe how much mud was caked beneath this fender. I mean, I literally spent 30 minutes just getting all the mud out. I should have just took the whole fender off and cleaned it that way, but what I did worked and it just took a little bit extra time. That mud was some of the stickiest mud that I've ever seen. And I know some of you guys are like anti-power washer when it comes to motorcycles, which I think is ridiculous. But I'd like to see any of you guys try to get that mud off with just a hose. As you guys could tell in the video, I was shaking up quite a bit. I was definitely panicking because I mean, there was so much mud caked in that fender that I thought I was gonna get stuck there and I was gonna have to call for someone to come and help me take the fender off so I could get it home. But thankfully, once I got it onto the street, I was able to bang enough of the mud out of there just to get it home. I definitely messed up my knee pretty good so I'm gonna be hurting the next couple of days. I wish I could have got some more content for you guys but that was it for today. Definitely an interesting video. If you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe down below. If you haven't already I know I say this in every video but it really helps me turn those post notifications on so you can get notified every time that I post a video that way you don't miss out on anything. If YouTube decides not to put me in the subscription feed you won't miss out on my videos. Make sure you drop a like down below for seeing me crash. I know a lot of you probably enjoyed that but it could have been a lot worse. We didn't hurt anything on the Grom or myself, so we're good to go. Let me know what you guys thought of that whole situation and what you would have done differently. I definitely panicked a little bit, but rightfully so. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get home. I'm gonna go take a shower and ice my knee for a bit. That's gonna wrap up today's video, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Well, guys, I just wanted to update you. This is what my knee looks like only a few hours after the crash, so we'll see what it looks like tomorrow, but it's not feeling very good.